Hello everyone, Creature Prince here, and welcome back to Siberia 3. So, what we've done is... Uh... We got the key. We got the repaired key. Which means we can... Leave. And get our boy, Kirk. Uh... His leg. Because he needs his leg. And, uh... Success. Yeah. We'll leave this crazy place because I'm not about it. Uh, use. Why is my music so loud? There we go, sorry. My music was very loud. I had taken a break uh, from my last video I recorded which obviously all these are not gonna show as like separate, well, separated, but like not my break. But uh, I ate food and I was watching videos, so I had my volume up a little bit higher. Uh, but for gameplay, because I have to speak, uh, I tend to lower the volume. So uh, in OBS, the setting is normal, so you can still hear the music, but for me, I need it lower so I can actually like hear myself. Uh, and also hear myself if, like, the cats are doing something. That is Russian. I can't read it. I'm also Russian to get out of here. Hey. Hey, I have a question. Damn, you look like a turtle. Excuse me. Yes? Hey. I'm looking for Dr. Zamiatine. He's in his office. You'll find it in the small corridor back there. The first door on your left. Thank you! Thank you for all that information. I'll be going now. Maybe you should head on back to your room and wait until they say the funicular is fixed and back in service? I'll think about it. Goodbye. Wait, what the fu- Sorry. I should probably actually look at all dialogue options. I'm doing a really bad job of that. I will admit. Uh, cause I'm- I'm rushing things and I shouldn't- I should take a step back. So I'm gonna ask her more questions. Exit. I would like to leave this clinic. Would you mind telling me where the exit is, please? Well, usually I'd have told you to go over to the other side of the courtyard to take the funicular that goes down to Valsambor. But it seems Dr. Efimova has shut off the entire clinic for security reasons. The funicular has been stopped until further orders. I see. Yeah, the reason is because of me. Pretty gloomy clinic. It could do with a bit of human warmth. It used to be the fortress of the Dukes of Valsambor, the ancient rampart standing against invasions from the east. The inhabitants of Valsambor took refuge here and often escaped the besiegers through mysterious secret passages. When did it become a clinic? That was 20 years ago, thanks to Dr. Zamiatine. Thank you for all that information. I'll be going now. Maybe you should head on back to your room and wait until they say the funicular is fixed and back in service? I'll think about it. Goodbye. Sorry, my- I wanted to make sure my fan wasn't too loud. It is hot. Okay, so that's what he meant. What she meant by the vinic- vinic- If it's, it's for yeah. a regular checkup, the doctor's offices are behind the reception area. Okay, cool. So it's in the corridor. First door on your left. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Kate. Kate. Uh, Dr. Olga? Nobody. Maybe not such a bad thing. Okay, well, uh, didn't mean to do that, so we're just gonna... It's like first door on the left. That is a wall! Hey, what's happening? I've been waiting for my appointment for hours. Yeah, like every other doctor's appointment, dude. You're not special. I'm here to see my husband. He's been here months and months. <laughs> Alright, that sounds like everybody's problem but mine. 
Uh, so I would like to go this way. Hey, what's up? Very short, stout man. Ah, hello, Miss Walker. How very delightful to see you up and about. Even if I really have to admit that I'm a bit surprised, our dear Dr. Olga painted a far darker picture of your current state of health. I was fine. I was literally fine. Dr. Efimova and Dr. Mangling want everyone to believe that I'm crazy so they can justify keeping me here against my will. Mm hmm. Olga did indeed speak to me about your unfortunate penchant for paranoia. Be careful not to let such perilous perturbations flourish in your mind, Miss Walker. They may be the source of many of your difficulties for you and for those around you. Sadly, I assure you that my accusations are well-founded, Dr. Zamiatine. I'm of perfectly sound mind. Listen to me, Miss Walker. I know that waking up after a prolonged period in a coma is difficult. In such a context, anxiety attacks are very normal. But please, do not project it onto Dr. Olga. I'm not getting any younger, you know, and running this clinic is a very heavy burden. The last few years, Olga has shown she is capable of assisting me. I have every faith in her. But... The subject is closed, Miss Walker. Please tell me about that pendant you have around your neck. I must admit I noticed it as soon as you walked in. There was once an Oscar. It's a souvenir. None of your business. Yeah. Miss Walker. It... Yeah, everything's fine. I'm trying to think of decisions here, but it belonged to Oscar, a friend who passed away. I understand, Miss Walker. I myself have borne the weight of grief for decades now. Wearing a token from someone dear to you is a natural thing. I didn't say it wasn't. Doctor Zamiatine, I promised Kirk I'd go to the craftsman in Valsambor and bring back his mechanical prosthesis. The poor boy has been waiting for it for ages. So I'd like to try to speed up the process. Would you tell me how to get there? Now there's a truly noble initiative, Miss Walker. I asked my clockmaker friend Simon Steiner to manufacture the young Yukol's mechanical prosthetic leg. He's a capable craftsman and ingenious. You'll find him in his workshop near the Valsambor port. I imagine he must almost be finished with his work by now. He makes amazing things. You'll see. Can you authorize my release so that I can see Dr. Steiner? Unfortunately, I've been told that the clinic is in lockdown. You will have to ask Dr. Olga, Miss Walker. She signed the current order to lock our establishment down. She's in charge of giving out the passes. He just hobbles over like a little baby. <laughs> This book should answer any of the questions you may have about our Yukol's friends. Farewell and bon voyage, Miss Walker. Also, I'd write to them on period. Uh, I have my little cat ears. They have LEDs uh, that usually go with whatever the audio is. Uh, so when they're speaking, it does flash. Uh, let me know if it's bothersome. I don't think it is because it's not like a main focus. Uh, like my face cam is not big enough and there's a lot of light around, but if you notice them flashing, it's because it's just with the audio. Uh, the Yukols. Why did the Yukols ask you to heal Kirk? On each of their migrations, the Yukol shamans and I have exchanged medical knowledge. Their trance therapy and materia medica have provided astounding results for my patients affected by psychological afflictions. In exchange, I do what I can to take care of those injured that they can't heal using their traditional medicine. Like, uh, that poor boy who lost his leg. Migrations? How many ostrich migrations have you seen? This is the third one. I'm lucky to have seen so many of them. It's a rare spectacle. Believe me, the great herd of ostriches accompanied by the Yukols, doomed to blindly follow their animals wherever they happen to roam. And they don't care about countries, wars, and borders. 
You seem to like the Yukols, Dr. Zamiatine. They are a fascinating people, you know, and such astonishing medicine infused with shamanism. Without which, no doubt, you would have never arrived in this clinic alive, Miss Walker. I mean, you're right. Racism. I get the impression that the Yukols aren't much liked around here. Indeed. It would seem that most of the inhabitants of Valsimbor are now quite hostile towards them. This wasn't the case a while back, you know. When I was young, the migration of the snow ostriches was an event widely welcomed with open arms in Valsimbor. Why the change in attitude? Our region was actually somewhat devastated 20 years ago. Dramatic events changed the way people viewed the world. The people turned inward on themselves. They are less welcoming. And the fact that the Yukols have been stuck here, next to Lake Valsimbor for several weeks, hasn't helped. It's really necessary for me to ask Olga's permission to leave? You're the director of this clinic, after all. Olga is my right-hand woman. I can't keep her uninvolved in current matters, Miss Walker. She is also currently your doctor. You should really talk with her about it. She isn't as evil as you seem to believe. You'll find her in her office, most probably. But, like, she is evil. Okay, documents. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, anthology on the Yokels. Yokels. I'm bad at pronouncing stuff, apparently. Uh, chapter 17, Extracts from the Old Culture Across the Ages by Bronislaw Maus. Mammoth butchered by Yokels. Current Yokel tales are recorded. How do I... Okay. Uh, I named the systematic Ugh! makes my usually torpid students goggle. Never before had they caught wind of the existence of this fascinating people. Uh, fiercely independent kind. Why does the gentle fragrance mystery? This is a lot of reading. Holy crap. Uh. Is there anything in particular? Oh my god, look at those little puppies. Two factors behind general ignorance of this tribe. The first is the Yokel's nomadic way of life, or more specifically, semi-nomadic. But we shall return to this point later. Itself, the reason for the second factor, the routes taken by the tribe are mainly located in unknown and mostly wild territory, still very much at the outskirts of the Great. In terms of size and dominant civilizations that have left their mark on Eurasian history. Uh, elude all attempts of ethnic and religious purification, many outside the main conflicts that have shaken the continent, so many parameters that have made the preservation of their culture possible. None at all, the migration brings them the regular contact with the indigenous people, but if the late latter tolerated their passage, they never have socially accepted inbreed tribe, thus preventing any cults. Okay. Uh, rare trace of civilization, Arctic regions, uh, mammoths, Yoki, Canis Eurus Polaris, polar bear dog, right? Uses tracker, sheepdog, and sled dog tribes come expert domestication. Look at them. God, they're so fat. Okay. Are we. Bro. Uh, mammoths not facts still. Listen, I also believe mammoths exist. There's like a whole. There's a reason for this whole thing is that mammoths exist, okay? We did not go this far uh, with Hans for no reason other than the mammoths, okay? Uh, snow ostriches. And then this obviously making me think of the cave back in was it Italy? It was Italy, right? Yes. 
Oh, now your fucking door's open. All right, Olga. Let's go. The American is awake. You must hurry, Colonel. <laughs> How is she doing? Fine, apparently. She is docile for the moment. This may not last too much longer, I'm afraid. And what about the tribe of nomads? Just like the past two years, Leg Valsambor hasn't frozen over. So the herd can't cross the ice. They're stuck here. And also, their young guide is still in our control. If everything goes as planned, soon the Yukuls will have no choice but to go back home. Especially as I have a plan to speed things up. Fine. There's also the American detective, Colonel. He should be arriving soon. Let him meet with Miss Walker if that's what he wants to do. No point alarming him just yet. But when all is said and done, we're the ones who are handling the young woman's case. No American is going to come here and tell us what to do. she go yo i don't know but that is some sketch shit who is this american detective huh huh uh kate walker uh olga uh, i've received confirmation that the american is a subversive subversive sure she is a hysteric by nature and has gotten into her head to accompany an old lunatic to some imaginary island on the way, she has caused a great deal of nuisance for the authorities and, above all, has associated herself with those freeloading yokels. Yokels. It would also seem that Uncle Sam considers her to be of some importance. This is a good occasion to get rid of her. When I get to Vassal... Vassalboro... My... Uh, excuse me. My men will arrest her and deliver her to her country's authorities. Till then, take good care of her, Colonel. Uh, re Zamatine. Okay, good idea, Colonel. Yesterday. Colonel, I've received a report of the commission concerning the clinic management, and with all due respect to our comrade commiss commissaires, comm commissioners, I can't read. I believe that putting Zamatir to one side on my behalf would be an error. He almost never leaves his office anymore, of course, and he delegates all responsibility to me, but his signature is the one appearing at the bottom of every document, even the ones concerning my experiments. I therefore feel that it would be better to let him remain behind his desk. He makes the perfect straw man at your service, Dr. Olga. Uh, my name is Nick Canton. Nick Canton? And without bragging, I'm, I am acknowledged as the best private detective on the East Coast of the USA. That's my coast. I'm contacting you following a telephone conversation you had with my client, the law firm Marson and Larment. Listen. We're done. <laughs> As agreed, I'll be arriving in the next few days to honor the terms of the contract you agreed to with the firm concerning the extradition of Kate Walker. Why am I being extradited? Just because I left? Listen, listen. It's a law firm. It's not that deep. One point still bothers me, though. Is it true that Miss Walker has to be arrested by some sort of local militia? During the day, I'd like to have a video conference with you to clarify the point and go over the last few practical details concerning my role regards Nick Canton, the finest private investigator on the East Coast. Nice handle. Psychi psychiatric report on patient number 10. It's more urgent business. Come see me later in the boiler room. We have to take care of those damn nomads. Uh, in accordance with your recommendation, I subjected patient 10, the American Kate Walker, to the standard psychiatric interview. Even though at first glance she seemed convincing, the patient nonetheless demonstrated all the symptoms typical of the propensity pros pe pe uh, for anarchy so common in her misguided homeland. Worse, it turns out she subscribes completely to the cause of the yokels, nomads, and it is obvious that she intends to continue agitating in our beloved region. I therefore recommend an emergency protocol restricting her movements and interaction with other patients who might be encouraged to agitate her for <sighs> the young nomad. I will have the mechanical bed calibrated for the patient with this in mind in preparation for your response. Sincerely, that asshole. Hello, Miss Efimova. I'm here to see you too. 
Walker. It really is you. What a coincidence. I've been looking for you for weeks. Uh, Mr. Canton, I presume? Ah, I see that my reputation precedes me. Miss Efimova must have told you I was coming. No, I just now learned of your existence, Mr. Canton. A while ago, my employer in New York informed me that he was going to stick a detective on my back. I don't like to boast, but I'm the best detective on the East Coast. Never a problem with me. I've been asked to bring you back home safe and sound, Miss Walker. I should be in Balsambor in a few hours. I won't know. I have no need of a knight in shining armor holding my hand, Mr. Canton. Hmm. Look, Miss Walker, I'm just doing my job. Are you? I'm sorry. I'm afraid you've made the trip for nothing. Yes. I mean, I'm not so sure. The Justice Department is looking for you, you know. The Feds are looking for me? But what's the charge? I've done nothing wrong. Embezzlement! Apparently, you took off with the contract for the sale of the clockwork toy factory in Vorlberg. And you took advantage of the seller's senility. You're even suspected of being responsible for the death of one of them. A Mr. Hans Vorlberg, the last heir authorized to sign contracts with the company you represented. That's not negligible. You know, Miss Walker. About This that. is completely ridiculous. And as far as I know, you aren't authorized to represent the Justice Department in this country. You're just a detective. So you'll have to put up with it, Mr. Canton. I'm not going back to New York with you. So leave me alone. Wait, Miss Walker. Please be reasonable. Goodbye, Mr. Canton. There's nothing reasonable there. You just basically told me... Uh... The feds are looking for me, but also, like, why? <laughs> Ooh, hello. Yeah, I don't know what this is. There's something. Ooh, I have to make an image. don't know what image I have to make, so we're gonna... We're just gonna figure this out. Uh, yeah, no, that's funny. Like, I understand... The whole, like... Hey, you need to come back, and me being like, how about you suck my dick? But also does it make sense in the way of just like, okay, blue, green, red, red, blue. Blue, blue, green, red, red. It's just the fact, like, how, yeah, cause like, I don't know much about legal stuff, okay? I'm not smart. I don't know legal things. But to extradite somebody from a different country, you need, like, federal permission. However, why- Charming. I'm just confused here. We'll figure it out later. I just don't understand why it has come to this, essentially. Hurry up. Also, why am I in here? Yes, Dr. Eltimova. I'm doing whatever I can. Get this damn tap open in the end, you'll see. Ah. Ah. That's it. 
Well, that should convince the Yukul scum to strike camp and go back where she came from. Come on, Helmet. Let's not hang about here. Yes, of course, Dr. Ethanol. What the fuck is that? Oh god, butt. God, I need to get a new chair. My butt hurts. <laughs> it's not the most ideal. This this computer chair is not soft. Waterway to get to the yokels. Cool. All right. So we're gonna book it over here. We're gonna book it over here. Hey, what's this? Empty gas can. Hell yeah! Okay, so we're gonna go this way. This thing is stuck. Ah, uh, classic Kate line. Okay, so then I go down here. I look at this. Impossible. What? It's not. But okay. Get rid of this chain fast. Well, I don't really have the materials for that. Eight. So we're gonna have to just kind of figure it out as we do. Uh, I'm gonna have to go this way though. I feel like I have not searched. Aha! What are you? Hydrochloric acid. Give me that shit, bitch. Granted, I don't think it's smart to actually- Hey, what the fuck is this? Uh, apparently something I can't do anything with. Okay, cool. Alright, we out of here. No, no, hey. We out of here. Oh wait, what is... Yeah. Wait, no. I'm trying to make you comment on this, lady. No? Okay. My mouse also disappears a lot. I've noticed when I'm playing this game, like, I'll look at something and then it immediately just, like, vanishes. I don't know why. Uh, anyways. We are going- like, where's my mouse? Okay, so I need the full tank of hydrochloric acid. Oh. Do I not have ores? We're just fully raw dog in this? Because this is a bad idea to not have ores. Because ores will help in, you know, steering. And also as, like, great weapons.
So cinematic, though. I, I love how cinematic this game is. I don't know how I survived that. Oh. That's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. Hi. Just your average white woman showing up on, uh, what is, buddy. Hey. Help, please, Miss Catwalk. Who am I helping? Miss Catwalk, pew pew, pee clacka laka. What? Ostriches maybe die poison? This sounds like not a job for me, but... Hey. Quickly, or all ostriches lost. What am I supposed to do? Also, I want to see this camera angle. The Yukos are going to be overwhelmed here soon. I have to help them, quickly. Yeah, but like, how, bro? So they're gonna die. Tengenemuk, tengenemuk. Tuk tuk. Big collet. Miss Ketwalk. Sen benu. Tuk 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 tuk. Menimir buru. What? Uh. We're just gonna get right to it. I wanted to warn you. Your ostriches mustn't drink the river water. It's important. They can get really sick. Buruth still find way to keep some. But snow ostriches always want and need much, much water. Or they get very sick too. Try to hold them back as long as possible. There must be a way to filter the river water. Ungenemuk. But Miss Ketwalk, go quickly. Miss Ketwalker. Uh, hello, ma'am. Da. <laughs> you remember me? No. Miss Kate Walker. Me, Ayahuasca. Great Yukul Shaman. Me go there and find you somewhere there in the world of the spirits. So you're the one I owe my life to, Madam Ayahuasca. It's you who cared for me before taking me to the doctors in the Valsambor Clinic. I don't know how I can ever thank you. We kind of need to save the ostriches. Tuk tuk tuger. Miss Kate Walker go clean river water right up there. Since she traveled long time in magic world, spirits now her friends. They will show her the right path. I, Very well. If you say that the spirits are going to give me a hand, I, I'll try to do that. All right, cool. Thanks. Thank you, Shaman. Uh... I'm glad I was dead so long that the uh, spirits are now my friends. Makes things a lot better. Is there anything I can look at here? No? Oh, okay. Uh... Ladies and gentlemen of the spirit world, if you want to show me the way, now's the time. Just had to ask, I guess. I mean... Also, we kind of fell down the dam. There's no real, uh... Real thinking. This gauge is obviously for measuring the water flow from the dam. Nice. Wait, what's right mine? Cool. 
Oh, there was a graph that I didn't look at. I like that I fixed it without actually meaning to fix it. I basically was just doing fuck all. Because I don't read. I don't look at stuff. I don't think. Which this game requires some thought. Thoughts of which I do not have. Alright, let's go back to see the big ostriches. Miss get well for miracles, Mwak. I did. I did in fact. Hey, where's the where's the shaman? Where's she where's she chilling at? Bairdla misket walk. Thanks you and spirits. Ostriches saved. Yeah. Be careful all the same, Mr. Barut. The dam filtering the water may not hold very long. Sa. You calls leave here fast to make sure ostrich is safe. But not possible without Kirk. Him our guide. I just came from the clinic. Kirk and I shared a room. Sa. How going, Kirk? Uh, he's he's fine. Don't worry, Mr. Barut. It's okay. Duke. So why him not come back with you? Uh, he doesn't have a leg. It's taking a while to finish his artificial leg. It would seem. No, Kirk. Yukols cannot leave here. So ostriches want continue journey without Yukols. Can't keep ostriches here very long. Ostriches cross Lake Falsambor alone. And then eaten by lake spirits. Took. The ostriches crossing the lake, so that has to be a part of the migration? Tuk tuk. Baranur on other side of lake. Is path of sacred plains. Ostriches lay eggs in hot sand on sacred plains. But lake, not anymore frozen. So, not be able cross. Yes. Listen, Mr. Barut. Do your best to calm your ostriches while I go to Valsumbor. I promised Kirk to go get his prosthesis and bring it back to him. Bartla, Bartla, Tuk. Miss Ketwalk, you friend of Yukol's. I'm going to speak with the shaman now. Ayahuasca will be very happy. See Miss Ketwalk. She go with you and around you a lot in world of spirits, so they free you. You not die because of her. And I am very grateful to that. Because, uh, it would have sucked if I died. Yo, this is a big-ass tent. What the fuck? Alright, well, first and foremost, I have a question. Why are there random white people here? Hey. Hello, little lady. Hi. Okay, not what I wanted to see. Ah, uh, you know that. You really do have a good nose for business. Alright, then. Please give two kilos, young man. I and tourists liked you calls but, before. But, you calls no, not stay too long me. time around Valsambor. What an amazing jumble. Not at all like New York markets. When you get into Valsambor, drop by my tower. It's got the best food in town. Uh, I'm gonna assume then you have the worst food in town. What's going on? Okay, why, why are there racists just spewing shit? Where's my mouse? Ugh, 
If only I had the time to take a little nap. What a pretty pattern. What's in the box? Oh my god, okay. I have candles. Is that it? Cool, I just took some candles. <laughs> I understand you all helped me, however, I'm gonna take your stuff. Why am I petting a giant ostrich? Can we? You know what? It was worth it. Never mind. Why am I questioning it? Hey, I'm looking for the shaman. Hey. People not like you goes now. Oh, wait, shit. I think I see what the shaman is. Yeah, cuz people suck, bro. Sinister. It's not that sinister. You're just Hey buddy. Ha, Miss Kate Walker. You have good news? Uh yes. The water is clean. To be honest, nothing great. Kirk, your young guide is in the hands of Olga Efimova. That woman has the director of the clinic, Dr. Zamiatine, under her thumb. She also seems to be in tight with a shady soldier. These people hate you, Ayahuasca. They can't stand your way of life. They're the ones who poisoned your ostrich's water. I think they're also holding up Kirk's prosthesis to keep him in the clinic and stop you from continuing your migration. People not like Yukos now. Yukos out of date. Tuk tuk psn. If Yukos without guide, not able continue great voyage. Return to north and never leave again. And then ostriches die. Well, hold on. We're not at that stage yet. I promised Kirk I'd go to Valsambor to bring back his mechanical leg. Top. Magic leg not only problem for you girls. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go in order here. No, just kidding. Another problem? What's the other problem? Ayahuasca sees bad spirits everywhere on long road for you calls. Now many very, very bad spirits on lake and also after. Baranor. Baranor very dangerous. Bad luck. Bad luck everywhere. Ayahuasca very, very scared. There may be another way to cross the lake, instead of waiting for it to freeze. I'll find out when I visit Valsambor. Why Miss Kate Walker decide to do all this for us? Because I'm a wanted criminal. I owe your tribe, I feel for you. You know what? <laughs> I feel. You're treated like pariahs. I'm disgusted by how everybody sees you here. <laughs> Took. Miss Kate Walker and Yukels are friends. So Miss Kate Walker decide accompany Yukels on great journey? We'll see. First I have to go to Valsambor. But like you, I seem to be a prisoner in this camp. Yukels not have right to go to Valsambor now. Miss Kate Walker like them. Now she must find pass so that she able to leave here. Uh, pass. Where can I find a pass so I can leave the camp? Before, Yukols could make use of pass machine in cabin at camp exit. But authorities decide break it in small pieces so now we cannot use. Miss Kate Walker should ask client tourists in Valsambor. Uh, Lake Valsambor. Strange, the lake taking so long to freeze. This must be a consequence of global warming. Bad spirits at bottom of lake make water very hot. Really nasty bad spirits everywhere now. See, <laughs> this proves global warming is a problem. I was told about everything your tribe did for me when you found me. Thank you so much. Miss Kate Walker cured. That's what counts. 
Job of ayahuasca. <laughs> I'm going to try to find the pass that you told me about. Miss Kate Walker, go quickly. What a funny smell. A hide. Must be for making clothing. Well, let me tell you, Awawaska, I have a candle. Don't know what that's gonna do, but I have candles. Okay, so can I, can I please leave? Okay. okay. Okay, so... Ayahuasca, the Yukul Shaman. I didn't think I'd see her again after she helped me save Hans. I'm confused as to where Hans is. Oh, hi. You don't have a pass to enter the city? How did you get in? Listen, how did a lot of stuff happen? Oh, that's not what I want. Uh, listen, I'm looking for randos. Hey. I'm sorry, but I can't give you my pass to the town. Otherwise, I'd be stuck here just like you, right? No way I'm giving you my pass. That'll teach you a lesson about sneaking around. Lady, no one asked you. The Yukul craftsman must make these statuettes by the dozen. Well, I'm gonna head out. Let's see you now. Oh, I'm in a different part. Oh, right, you want- oh, god. A checkpoint for the municipal employees. Yeah, but can I, like, bust in? Great ostriches always need lots of attention. Lots, lots. True. What are you up to? Must clean cabin so nuts get fine. Wow. Alright, well, I don't actually need to be here. Clinic. I hope Kirk is okay up there. God, that is the worst looking clinic. Like, I literally hate it. Okay, we're gonna... Whoop. We're gonna hobble our way over here. A squid lying in a puddle of ink. Poor creature. What can I even use? A candle? It doesn't work. Can I stab Impossible. it? Impossible. No, you won't let me stab it? Okay. Well, there's a squid then I have to deal with. Uh. But I. Wait, what the fuck is that? What is this? So that's the famous lake that won't freeze anymore. That is like an ocean. That is not a lake. Okay, we're gonna have the scenic view as my ending. Because I've been recording for almost an hour now. But we escaped the clinic, and now we have to get a pass to get into town, to get the leg, to give the Kirk, so we can go and go take care of the ostriches. Yes. <laughs> uh, I forgot how nice this game is. I forgot. It's beautiful, it's nice, I love it. Very, very nice music as well. So yeah, I am enjoying getting back in this. I'm enjoying playing a game that I actually like playing that isn't... Like, it's not one of the like scary games I've been doing. Like, a lot of... Uh, what's up, buddy? Nice scenic view here with just two of us. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying. I'm definitely enjoying the series again. So yeah, leave a like if you like this video. Remember to hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I will see you all in the next video of whatever I make. Stay awesome, everyone. Bye.